A dysfunction of the ulnohumeral joint may be noted as an increased carrying angle. This will manifest itself as decreased motion in adduction or abduction. Assess for dysfunction of the ulnohumeral joint in adduction or abduction whilst the patient is seated or supine. With the patient supine, the operator stands on the dysfunctional side of the patient. Place the wrist of the dysfunctional extremity between the arm and the lateral chest wall of the operator. Grasp the elbow with both hands with the thumbs in the anti-cubital region over the proximal radius and ulna. With the elbow closed to full hyperextension, slightly flex to avoid extension locking. Apply a translatory force to take the ulna into adduction. Apply an HVT low amplitude thrust in the same vector when you have reached the restrictive barrier. With the finger pads around the olecranon, draw the olecranon towards the operator to increase abduction. Using an impulse when the restricted barrier is reached, thereby gapping the joint.